Hello everyone, welcome to Lockdown Sis World. Today we talk about the controversy of U.S. State Secretary Dean Acheson. Soon after the Second World War, the Cold War began with the emergence of a Truman Doctrine and Marshall Plan, NATO organization and confrontation to the Soviet in Europe. As the China Civil War, less than three years, the Communist Army won overwhelmingly and the Kuomintang nationalists fled to Taiwan. On Korean Peninsula, hostility spread on both sides. The under circumstances, the great changes in the world, U.S. domestic anti-communism and the rising of McCarthyism. Since uh, January 1949, Dean Acheson succeeded George Marshall as uh, U.S. State Secretary. The complexity of the situation, interest and strife made Dean Acheson a certain controversy in that uncertain times. The was born in 1893 in a pastor family of Connecticut. After graduation from Yale, he started in law school of Harvard since 1915 to 1918 and had his intern at the U.S. Supreme Court as a clerk. Soon he opened his own forum in Washington and supported the Democrats in presidential election. In 1933, he was assigned as a U.S. Under Secretary of Commerce by President Roosevelt, and only within half a year, he resigned and retook as a lawyer due to his disagreement with the president in finance. In 1941, Roosevelt once again appointed him as Assistant Secretary of the U.S. State Department in charge of economic affairs. From then on to 1949, when he worked as a state secretary, he had resigned twice. The one was in August 1945. His resignation was denied and then he was promoted as under secretary of state department. The other happened in 1947. He left the office and returned to his form until January 1949, he was called back as State Secretary. During the eight years from 1941 to 1949, he worked with four State Secretaries, the Hall, Stettiners, Burns, and Marshall. Carter Hall was born in 1871 in Tennessee. After graduation from college, he was elected as Tennessee House Representative, and then in U.S. Congress. In 1924, he served as Chairman of U.S. Democrats National Committee. In 1933, Franklin Roosevelt appointed him as a State Secretary. Until November 1944, at the age of 73, Hall retired due to health issue and succeeded by Stadunius. Hall's tenure as state secretary covered the period of China's war against Japan and the whole uh, Second World War. He held the position as a state secretary for 12 years, the longest one in American history. Edward Stadinius was born in Chicago in 1900 in a rich family. His father was president of American Diamond Much Company and later worked in G.P. Morgan. In the First World War, assigned as the Assistant Secretary of the War Department, Stanley Newers hadn't finished his college and engaged in politics early. Thankful for his family relations, he was promoted as the Vice President of General Motors at the age of 31 and in charge of public affairs. Due to his support to Roosevelt's New Deal, he entered the cabinet, being appointed as Under Secretary of State Department, and then succeeded Hall as a State Secretary. In 1945, he became America's first ambassador to the United Nations, and then the position of State Secretary was to Burns. In 1949, Stadunius died of coronary heart disease at the age of 49. James Burns. Uh, was born in South Carolina in 1882. His father passed away when he was young. He had a cousin who later became governor of South Carolina and helped him find a job. 
as a stenographer in the court at the age of 16. When he was 18, he applied to work as a court clerk. Yet under the age of 21 that required for the position, his mother helped him in tampering with the date on his birth certificate. And later, he was uh, elected into South Carolina Congress and the U.S. Congress, and worked in Roosevelt's cabinet in charge of economy and war mobilization. In November 1944, he was even considered as vice president candidate for Roosevelt and, and finally replaced with uh, Harry Truman. After studying yours, Truman appointed Barnes as state secretary in January 1947 succeeded by General Marshall. In 1951, Burns was elected as uh, governor of South Carolina. George Marshall was born in Pennsylvania in 1880 as a professional soldier, U.S. Army Chief of Staff in Second World War. In January 1947, after failure in mediation of China's civil war, he returned to America as State Secretary until January 1949 succeeded by Dean Atchison. So Atchison had resigned for three times, and each time he was called back until appointed as a state secretary. Thank for his talents, uh, sense of duty, sincerity, and good relations. Also from President Truman's recognition and absolute trust. The four years of his state secretary from 1949 to 1953 occurred many big tough issues such as uh, U.S.-China relations, uh, birth of NATO, attacks from Mekasi, treaty with Japan, and uh, Korean War, etc. First, about uh, U.S.-China policy. January 1949, when Atchison swore as U.S. State Secretary, the three major military operations of the Civil War were almost over. The main forces of the Nationalists had been destroyed and the collapse of the government uh, was doomed, with millions of the Liberation Army ready to cross over Yangtze River. The uh, Kuomintang hoped to keep its regime in the south part of China. America and the Soviets also preferred China divided into two parts. Yet the Chinese Communists were determined to take over the government nationwide. Facing the fiasco of Chiang Kai-shek, uh, Atchison decided to wait and see until the dust that falls to the ground, that namely China issue uh, was solved by Chinese themselves. And then US government would negotiate with Red China for diplomatic recognition. In August 1949, uh, Atchison called back US ambassador to China, Stuart Redden, and issued a white paper, acknowledged the failure of US-China policy the wish reached the text from the Republicans and from McCarthy, uh, with claims uh, of incompetence of the Democrats and the U.S. State Department full of sympathizers of communists and uh, subversives, and Atchison should be responsible for this. Second, uh, the establishment of NATO. After World War II, the Cold War lingered in Europe and America put forward Truman Doctrine and Marshall Plan, a containment to the expansion of the Soviet, bolstering of the assistant economy and the military to Europe, a strong position on issues of Greece, uh, Turkey, Germany, and the West Berlin. America promoted the reconciliation between France and Germany, together with the total 12 countries, in forming NATO in April 1949 against the Soviet. On April 4th, at the establishment ceremony of NATO, Atchison signed his name, uh, representing uh, America, with both U.S. President and Vice President standing by his side. For sure, we know today NATO currently uh, has 31 members after nine rounds of expansion, and today's uh, Russo-Ukraine war has mainly related to NATO expansion to the East. Uh, then Mechanism. In February 1950, uh, in the case of Arger Hiss underwent in court. Now, Hiss was a high official in the U.S. State Department before, and in 1948, he was accused of espionage for the Soviet, and uh, was put in jail for five years for perjury. 
He uh, had been once Atchison's assistant, and when the reporters that asked Atchison about the case, Atchison said he didn't believe he was Soviet uh, spy. The case was totally a political witch hunting. He would not throw any stone at his. Atchison's remark roused a clamor of sensation and a personal attack from McCarthy, even yelling at his resignation, to which uh, President Truman rejected. The signing of peace treaty uh, with Japan. In 1945, Japan surrendered, and the Allied forces stationed with McCarthy's headquarters in Tokyo. Yet the peace treaty had never uh, accomplished. With the U.S.-Russia uh, relations sour, the outbreak of the Korean War and uh, the former allies against Japan had changed, and even the U.S. government controversies exist. Atchison sent John uh, Dulles several times to Japan for negotiation. In September 1951, at San Francisco, there were 46 countries that attended the signing ceremony to Japan. Yet China, the main force against Japan in the Second World War, didn't receive any invitation. Neither the mainland China nor Taiwan attended the meeting, and uh, the Soviet also refused to sign on a treaty. And then Korean War. In June 1950, a Korean War broke out, and President Truman ordered MacArthur to intervene. On September 15, 1950, the U.S. Army landed at Incheon, intercepted the North Korean Army from the back, and it changed the situation of Korean War. Soon it crossed the 38th parallel, north forward to the border of China. On October 25, China joined the war. And in the following operations, in November and December, defeated the American troops and forced them back to the south of the 38th parallel. With the following two years, the war was in stalemate, and nothing big changed until July 1953, uh, Armistice signed. America lost to China in 1949 and stood off in the following Korean War. These two uh, countries. Changed from allies of the Second World War to foes at the battlefield, which lasted for two decades. President Truman gave up his election campaign in 1952. Then Atchison returned to his law form. President Kennedy and Johnson invited him as an advisor, and even President Nixon, who attacked him vehemently before, also acquired him for advice on world affairs. In his memoir, uh, President at the Creation, My Years in the State Department, Atchison concluded that during the puzzling and uh, perilous days, the policymakers in State Department were regarded as old and uh, contemptible. Yet under the leadership of the President Truman, we had shaped U.S. foreign policy for the time being and for the future. Though so in controversy, Yet we made it nobly done. His uh, conclusion was uh, basically true, even with some uh, different voices. Here comes the end of today's program, and thank you for your watching, and I'll see you next time.